Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you are an experienced word user, you will notice that the interface in Word 2007 is vastly different than the interface in previous releases. So this time, unlike recent previous releases of this program, even veteran word users will need to take some time to reacquaint themselves with the interface. For new users of the program, as with any program, you should begin by familiarizing yourself with your working environment. This is where we will begin exploring Word 2007. If this is the first time you have used Word, then the first thing to notice is that the Word screen consists of two windows, the Application window and the Document window. The Document window opens up within the Application window. The Document window is where you can create and modify documents. You may close the document window without closing the Word application. This allows you to open and close different documents without having to restart the program. When you close the application window, Word will close. It will also prompt you to save any open documents that you were working on before closing. The document window is inside of the application window. It contains the actual document that you are creating. You may have several documents open at the same time in Word. Now we will point out the names and locations of several tools that you will need in order to create your Word documents. The first object we will point out is the new ribbon at the top of the application window. This tool is where you can find all of the tabs, groups, and commands available for your use within the program. For upgrading users, you will find that the new ribbon both replaces and combines the older menu bar and the various toolbars that you have been used to using. We will discuss this and other tools in separate lessons within this chapter. You will also need to familiarize yourself with the new Microsoft Office button that is located in the upper left corner of the application window. Clicking this button allows you access to the most common file functions, such as creating a new document, saving documents, and printing. To the right of the Microsoft Office button and above the ribbon is the new Quick Access Toolbar. You can easily add buttons to this toolbar for the commands that you use most frequently and wish to always have available. You will notice several important buttons that are already set here. Save, Undo, and Redo. You can also easily remove buttons that you have added to this toolbar as well. Of course, at the top of the window, you will see the name of the current document that you have open. This will appear to the right of the Quick Access Toolbar, in an area known as the Title Bar. Below all of the tools, the current document is displayed. This is where you create the actual content of the document. Most of the actual work in Word will be done in this document window. At the right side of the document, you will see a vertical scroll bar. You may also see a horizontal scroll bar at the bottom of your document, if your document is wide or if you zoom in on the document. You can use the vertical scroll bar to scroll up and down through your document. You can use the horizontal scroll bar if shown to scroll left and right across the document. Speaking of zooming the document, you can now easily zoom in to increase the document's magnification or zoom out to decrease the magnification using the zoom slider that appears in the lower right corner of the window. Also, to the left of that, you can see the various document view buttons that allow you to switch the view of your document as needed. Now that we have an overview of the major on-screen elements, where they are located by default and what they are called, we can now look at the general use and functionality of the various on-screen elements within the Word application. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachyoucomp.com forward slash free.